Hello everybody, it's the 22nd of August 2015, it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. It's been about 28 degrees today, 28, 29, very hot, very humid, which is absolutely perfect for the tropical things I've got growing here. Now, just want to give a quick update, I'm not going to be uploading this video today because I won't have time, I'm going to be going out shortly, so uh, I'll be uploading this tomorrow. So, let's start with yard long beans, there we go, there's two there, obviously these are only a fraction of their... Uh, eventual size hopefully they will be getting significantly bigger than this as you can see they're nowhere near a yard long by the size of my hand but there's some more here and there is some more here so i'm very happy about how these are doing they seem to have just come on i mean the last couple of days of hot weather seem to have uh, acted as a catalyst and they really you know just suddenly appeared Slight problem, I've lost some of them, like this one is riddled with ants. I believe in their own native lands and this one as well. They have a problem with ants as well with these beans. They seem to love them, which is a shame. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm very happy with uh, how these have turned or are turning out. Uh, I might even pick these and eat them. I'll tell you what, let's have one now. Whoops, left a bit up there. Look. Yep. Definitely a crunchy, more crunchy than like a French bean. Stronger flavour. Nice in a stir fry. So there we go. So you can see that uh, although they're not fully, you know, hopefully they will get bigger than this, but they're not uh, anywhere near the full size. But you can see that with a bit of planning, it is possible to produce yard long beans in the you know hot part of the warmer part of the UK anyway with a little bit of planning. So there we go. Watermelons, here we go. Another one coming there, look. Just hope the good weather carries on. You see, the way these seem to work is they seem to be small for a while, and all of a sudden they start getting bigger very quickly. So that one's coming on. Of course, we've got the, uh, excuse me, watermelon here, look. And we come here. And once again, that's one of the watermelons. You can see they really are getting to a decent size now. These are only small ones, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> they are watermelons. And there's another one here. I'm just hoping that the season will uh, hold out. We have a bitter melon here. Again, a fraction of the size that it should be, but uh, hopefully... It will get bigger if the good weather carries on. <laughs> Bottle gourd plants, I've said plenty on them before. You can see here that uh, I'm tra training them up and over the poly tunnel. We get a long growing season, who knows? Plenty of tomatoes. Now this uh, this is very annoying. Um, should have covered this up sooner. I didn't realise that the pests love these so much. But this is one of the bottle gourds, and as you can see now, it's starting to take on a good size, and it's bigger than my hand now. But um, I think I'm going to have to pick him, and I'm probably going to give him to my uh, one of my Indian friends, who's a really good chef, and hopefully he's going to cook a nice dish using this. In uh, Indian, this is known as dudi or dudi, I believe. So there you go. It probably would get bigger, but something's eating it. Next year when I grow these, I will be covering them up. But you can see it's bigger than my hand, so you can produce decent size duties or bottled gourds, whatever you want to call them. And you can grow them in a pot outside in the UK up against a south-facing wall. So there you go. You can grow these squashes in this climate, provided you're in a warm part of the UK and you're blessed with some good weather.